I'm a
so precious to you, praise. Yes, indeed. He's the one that will take you over every mountain and situation. Out of all that's to be washed up, the difference you can't tell. He's the only one who ever gave his son. He's the God yes, who cannot indeed. fail. Amen. That's what happens, church, when you raise the kids in the church. It's not going on the side, but it's not going on the side. The V-L-E has fought for me. I stand all over the God. The V-L-E. Yeah, very good. 
When Jesus passes by, oh my God! Church, you can give before you make the next 
That's right. He's right here. If we count nations, he's here for it all. And the woman had to be sure for her. She wasted all her she had. And every doctor there was, nothing could heal her. Very sure. And you know by history and time, like that, when you're how many sure blood, you're not proud to be in the crowd of people. The crowd of the people swarm around you. I went out with my language, like he's swimming around. Okay. She said, if I just own him, yeah. touch him. Yeah. 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 You know what? He turned and said, stop. He, he said, said, who touched me? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, the blood yeah. of God, and we're on our knees, and praying to him. And then when we get up in the morning, we're going to say, I thank you. Yeah. We touch you. Yeah. We get the strength. He gets the virtue come down on the list through the day. Yes, and who touch you? And the disciples looked and said, the Master, said, all oh, this crowd are pressing up against you. And then you saw them. So who touch you? He said, yeah, but I felt virtue. Yeah. 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 We pulled the power down. We got saved. We pull the power down, we pray for somebody when they're sick and afflicted. We pull the power down. We help. You know, God, he hears us. He said his ears open. He opened your eyes. He's open. You listen. His eyes open right you. He watches over us and keep us. I get it. You know, I know we, this is everybody here and there. But this is something. Amen. Amen. God, this is all God's strength. Yes, boy. It's even too big a hurry for you to go home. That's right. You go home, ball game, you know, and you be sitting there and go, I can't help it. But you're afraid to jump on down from the floor. Yeah. yeah. Get off her. That's all right. My hands got tense in the morning. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Well, I like to say I love the Lord and Jesus, and I feel the Lord all the <laughs> time. I feel like tingling through my heart and my whole body. And there's so many lost that we need to pray for. So many right here yeah, still that I pray that the Lord just gives them the strength to make that walk. That wasn't an easy walk for me. That was a hard walk. That wasn't an easy thing for me to do. I had to let go of everything I thought I had control of. Yes, but I beg you to do it. Yeah. I beg you to let go of whatever's holding you in that no, chair. And do it. No, because if you can feel what I'm feeling in my heart right now, the tingle sensation that's going through my body, I would give, I would bless anybody with this feeling. I would. I just pray for the Lord to touch you. I do. You all pray for me. Bless the Lord. Hey, I pray everybody gets touched here, buddy. He's moving around. That's my dog. Right? <laughs> Amen. Amen. I pray for her and I pray and I pray. I pray and I pray. I pray for my children. I pray and I pray. I pray for my boys. I pray and pray. I watch her. I went to one night and I gave her a call. I said, I'm not crying. I pray for her. I send her my kids. She said, Why don't you why you pray for God to send you them kids? You know we need more to. But see a little later on here, that phone call. Said, Daddy will go home. Come on. I'll send them to her. I stop at the hospital every day. I go in that emergency room. And I stop the show when I have prayer with her. Pray right there. Keep the prayer. I said, keep trusting in the Lord. Amen. Trust the trust. Hey, it's hard when you say, look at you and say, trust in the Lord. If you ain't ever been through that valley, you ain't ever been through that hard spot, through them control, or through under the valley, and all that problems and trust sorrows and things, you ain't never been through that. Hey, how, it's easier than say trust. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you, too, through the tongue, but from the heart. Come on, it's all about you today. We're out there, out there. We're here to serve the Lord. We're here to praise and uplift. Anybody else?
I gave my life to the Lord when I was 20 years old. Yeah. I got the great and I heard time. Because <laughs> it's the only thing I've been in. He's used my body so many times. He's prayed for me. Yeah. 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 Be a picture of this city. Be a picture. I just want to thank God for so all you hear of me. I don't mind the ball of my mind. You know, I don't mind the ball of my mind. I don't mind the ball of my mind. I don't mind the ball of my you know that I pray for things, and I know nothing about the works of the good Lord, but I have what I pray for things. Thank you, sister. 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 Didn't worry me because I know that I just flew out to another better place. Yes, My daughter, she witnessed it all. She witnessed yes. how the Lord just brought me through everything. Yes. 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 I had that took yes. out. Yes. Yes. All the next day. Yes. 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 So the Lord has really blessed me. That's right. I think we should tell the good night. Yeah. Yes. 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 We serve an awesome God. He's still in the hills. And he's still in the same business. He don't want nobody to perish. He wants you to come to him. He wants you to be saved. He don't want you to perish and go to him. That's right. That's his every wish. We serve a loving God. Anybody else got a testimony? Anybody else got a song? All hearts and minds are clear. It's Brother Luke to say a prayer for us to bless the Mason and Brother Luke for your life. Dear Lord, we thank you for this wonderful service we've had so far. We thank you for placing this service and people here and for your stirring here with us today. Lord, make us feel your spirit. We ask you to bless the rest of this service here, Lord. Bless the whole service. Bless the preachers that comes up to uh, give the word, Lord. Be with, you. Be with us. Be with us. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Holy and sweet name. Amen. 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 Have you enjoyed yourself tonight? Amen. Amen. I know yeah. what I have. Yeah, I have a wonderful time. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes, it's been wonderful. Yeah. It's been on my heart. Good, sir. And this is ever since we've had the hospital done. <laughs> <laughs> and my heart is in the book of this. <laughs> if you got your Bibles, Turn them to the book, first chapter of the book of Esther. And we're going to preach a little bit about the queen. I tell you, this week it's been uh, long, tiresome, but it's been rewarding. We've seen people come give their lives to the Lord. We feel the power of God and the Spirit in this church house. We feel the love of a, with a fellowship with a brother and sister. The Lord has been good to us. I want to give him the praise for it. I want to thank everyone who's came out today or some ain't uh, been to church with me in a long time. I'm glad to see y'all made it out. Uh, brother Warney and uh, Kenneth. Uh, I know I aggravate Kenneth just about as much as I do Bobby while we're in but I tell you, I'm proud of him. The other day, just work in the mines, and they used to, and they just talk about them, and and and, and, uh, and we aggravate them. But I'm telling you, I'm glad that the Lord is using him to sing for His praises and to be a witness for the Lord. I want to thank him, and I thank the family 
All right. The book of Esther, chapter 1. Is everyone there? You all shut up on me here now. You shouted a couple minutes ago. Don't quit on me now. Esther, chapter 1. Look at verse number 8. We'll read four or five verses here. So he's saying, The drinking was according to the law, none did compel. For so the king had appointed up to all the officers of his house that they should do according to every man's pleasure. Also Vashti, the queen, made a feast for the women in the royal house, which was prone to the king, exerts. And on the seventh day, when the heart of the king was married with wine, the command of the... I ain't going to say these words right, so you bear with me. Well, I, I tell you, let me move to verse number 11. To bring Vashti, the queen, before the king with the crown royal, to show the people the princess her beauty, for she was fair to look on. But the queen Vashti refused to come at the king's commandment by his chamberlains. Therefore was the king very wroth, and his anger burned in him. Church, I, the reason I read that scripture, just about everyone in the church house has read the book of Esther or know about Esther. How it's a book of love. How Esther came to uh, save the uh, children of Israel from the king there. And she was brought from a Jewish child or from an Israelite to be put into a queen. But before all that could happen, before God could place Esther where she needed to be, there hadn't been a queen before her, which was Vashti. And this queen Vashti, not many preachers preach on it or read about it, and, and people don't even realize uh, what she went through before Esther came into the scene. Now let me give you a story of what's going on, a backdrop here. The king was having a big shindy. And this shindy was going to last by 180 days. And during this big party that they was having, they started drinking the wine. And they started getting drunk. And the scripture said on the seventh day of drinking, uh, and on the seventh day, he started getting uh, uh, where he wanted to brag and boast about the things he had. And then all the people around him, he wanted to bring in the uh, uh, Vashti, his queen, uh, to show her off in front of the people. Now, church, let me tell you something here. There's a lot of things that we shouldn't get into. There's a lot of places we shouldn't go. And one of the things I'm going to bring out is about drinking a little bit. And how we need to watch, uh, how we conduct ourselves and get around the public that we get around to. Over the summer time, we were either watching a social football game, uh, and I tell you, I really enjoyed myself. Uh, but there's a lot of drinking at the stadium there. Uh, there's a thing about it. Uh, I didn't want to partake in the drinking. Uh, I've separated myself from it. Uh, uh, we can separate ourselves from the world of darkness. Uh, we can separate ourselves from the outside world. Some of us got a job that we got to put up with a lot of things and see a lot of things. But praise God, God gives us a strength and a power to separate ourselves because he said we are a peculiar people. We stand out amongst the world with a light to this generation. Praise God, he gives us a power. Yeah, amen. I tell you, the power is here today. Yeah. If you ain't got the power, there's something yeah. wrong. There's something wrong now. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But here the king, Xerxes, now ladies, let me ask you a question. There's a movie that came out called Rise of the 300 or something, the Gladiator movie. Now, I know you ladies have watched it. You never watched it. Well, anyways, the king from the Xerxes is the same king that they got from this book here. And this king, he started giving up a party. And he started drinking and drinking and drinking. You know something? There's a reason why God has told us to watch ourselves and not to go into that world. You know that uh, when you start drinking uh, there's any toxins and your body just really don't want to take it and after you drink so long, what happens? 
You start growing up. You start getting sick. You start having a, a, a hangovers and this and that. Praise God. I don't want to have no part of it. And the scripture tells us that we need to separate ourselves from it. I know some say you know, a little bit drinking might be good. A little bit here and there to help with illness. Praise God. I got more faith in God. I'm an alcoholic. I know that my physician upstairs can pay more whatever illness I got. I don't to worry about the outcome. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Romans 13, let us therefore cast off the darkness and put on the armor of light. How are we going to put on the armor of light if we uh, uh, put ourselves around the, the company that likes to drink or put ourselves around the company uh, that uh, does a uh, cussing and, uh, and uh, there's war and there a lot of things. Uh, we need to separate ourselves. First Corinthians on Pilate says, But now I have written unto you not to keep the company. Uh, if any man that is called a brother to be a fornicator, a covenant, an idolater, a railer, or a drunkard, or an extortionator, uh, which such are as one not uh, to eat with, uh, that tell me, but when it's uh, square, uh, if I heard someone that they're doing that, I need to keep my butt away from them. I need to stay away from them. I start thinking about uh, Juliana. Uh, she's going to be going to Marshall here soon. Uh, don't go out uh, and leave the best uh, go to uh, grow up on us uh, and there's going to be coming times uh, and she's going to have peer pressure uh, her friends is going to be going out doing things they shouldn't be doing uh, going to be uh, doing things that they ought not to uh, but praise God sweetie uh, you keep the power of God uh, you think about the services you think about what God has done to you uh, and separate yourself <laughs> Proverbs 21, wine is a mocker, strong drink and raging. Ephesians 5 and 8, be not drunk with wine, wearing in excess, but be filled with the Spirit. I'd rather be right here in this church house than any bar there is up downtown. I'd rather be here than the, any winery or any other place. I'd rather be right here than any racetrack. I'd rather be right here than in Arizona during the Super Bowl. Praise God for life and feel the Spirit here. Amen. Praise the Lord. James Xeris, he got drunk. You can't be wise and be drunk. Uh, Proverbs 21, wine is a mocker, strong drink, raging. And it says, whosoever is deceived by by is not wise. So you can't be one or the other. No. I want to be wise. Solomon, that's all he prayed for. He said, Lord, you give me the wisdom. That's what I prayed for last week. I tell you, uh, this week it's been hard. I've been tired. I've been weak. I've been traveling. I've been going to hospitals. Uh, but I pray. Uh, I've got the spirit. I want to do as much as I can. Uh, but I just may able sometimes. Uh, but I pray that God gives me the wisdom. Uh, I can do his work. Uh, I can preach his word. Uh, and brother, uh, and these ministers here, I pray that the Lord Jesus you uh, to speak the good news uh, and preach the word. Uh, praise yeah. God. Uh, and the last few weeks I've seen six people come and give their lives over to the Lord. I give you the praise. That's right. It's all him. Zerus, let me give you a little history here. He was a king of Persia. And he had a beautiful wife. Last time, she was beautiful. Had to be real pretty for them to quote her in the Bible to be as beautiful as she was. Bashtai was Nebuchadnezzar's great-granddaughter. Belshazzar's granddaughter. And here she is, the queen. Now, you know how easy here she was up in royalty and everything handed to her. She could have went right along, right with the king. And came into that party and started drinking and started doing the things that the king was doing. But she said she refused. She didn't want to go there. She separated herself. And let me tell you something, church. When you separate yourself from the world, when you separate yourself from the darkness, there's going to be people that's going to get upset. There's going to be friends that ain't going to be your friends no more. There ain't even going to be family that won't even consider you as family no more. Absolutely. But let me tell you something. I got more family now than I did lost. Amen. I got more friends, true friends now than 
I did before. But so real last night, she refused. I ain't going to that point. I ain't going to be a partaker of this. I ain't going to get get out there and uh, uh, make a, a, a fool out of myself. But you know, there are some things. I'm going to bring that. I ain't going to preach long. But there are some things that's out of our control. In our lives, there are some things that's out of our control. We don't have no say so in it. Right. Yep. Sister says she can uh, have cancer and, and beat the battle of cancer and beat the battle of brain tumor. And I've seen several here uh, thought they might have a heart attack uh, and beat that uh, uh, heart attack. Uh, I know some here at sick right now, uh, and I'm telling you that God has the power yeah, to take care of us. Has He took care of you? Has He touched you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's some things in our lives, even though we're a child of God, and even though and we walk in the right likeness, we're going to go through. Yeah. Yeah. Last time, she had to go through some things. She refused the king, refused the place of the world. And the king got upset. And he started talking with his buddies. That's the number one problem right there. When you have a problem, don't go talking to your buddies or your friends. Don't put your problem out on the computer now. Don't put your problem on the telephone line. You call and talk to the one that can take care of the problems and he's the one. But here the king, he start talking to his buddies out. You know your buddies will get you in more trouble than what you're in now. Your buddies will get you in more trouble than laugh at you. Or when you get in trouble. Yeah. Here's the king. What should I do, boys? What should I do? Okay, you're the king. And her disgrace you like that? Hey, why don't you uh, 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 send her off and get you another woman up here? Get you another one. Last time I had to go through a valley because of her decisions to stand up with the right thing. I talk to these Christians, young Christians, just got saved. The Mexican verify is when you first get saved, the devil is going to attack you. Attack, attack, attack. Just as, mu as much as he can because you're a young child of God. You step out for the Lord and you step away from him to accept the good things, and he is so mad that he'll try everything he can to get you to fall back. That's right. That's right. Fast they stripped her of her queenship. They, she, they took her royalty away. They took away her money. They took away her clothes. They took away her, her power. Did she deserve it? In our lives, we go through things. And people might think, well, you brought it onto yourself. Some things we don't bring onto ourselves. That's Job, right. when the devil went, yeah. said he'd go to and fro. Yeah. He said, hey, God said, said, hey, you consider my servant Job. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I pray that God thinks enough of me. Say it talks to the devil. Say, yeah. say, devil, and you consider my servant Rick. Yeah. And you consider my servant Bobby. And you consider my servant Lo. And you consider my servant. Son. Hey, that, what, that gets me thinking is I'm doing something right. Yeah. So when you got something comes into your life and it's out of control, hey, think of it that the Lord is out using you to be a light yeah. and a strength for yeah. someone else, and yeah. that you can bring someone else to the fold. That's right. right. Some things is out of our control. That's right. Second thing I want you to realize. This is not uh, young the young ones. What is right is right. What is wrong is wrong. Yeah. The world will try to mix them two together. The world will try to say it's all right to uh, uh, drink. It's all right to uh, uh, do these meals. It's all right for homosexual. It's all right for all these things. They try to make everything mixture. Yeah. In the eyesight to God, there is no mixture. That's right. There is no pretty good place for pretty good yeah. people. Yeah. There's a right way and a wrong way. There's a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Which one are you choosing in your life today? Yeah. That's the choice that you've got to make. Last yeah. time, made a choice. To stand up for what was right. Not to go into the drunk. Not to go into the party. Not to go into the bar. Not to do these things. Even though she knew it was going to be hard on her. 
Proverbs 11, 22, as a jewel of gold in a swine snapped, so is a fair woman with, is without discretion. You know what I'm saying? Just as a, you know that green they put in their noses, the hawk's nose? Yeah. That's what it's like for a woman that don't have discretion. For a woman, not only a woman, for a man or a woman who don't make the right choices, not to not to take the good things, not to be take the right things, but rather take the uh, peer pressure and go with the flow and go with the friends and go with everyone that's around you. It's just as good as a nose piercing green. Ashti had discretion. She had discretion. Not only that. I want you to realize something. Sometimes doing the right thing will cost us. It will cost us. She had the perfect world. She had a life of luxury. She had all these things. She gave up to stand up for what's right. The battles that we go through here, it might be just for a little while, but praise God, it's worth it all. Because I know where I'm going to. This luxury that we think it's here on this world really ain't luxury. I've never seen a street that has made pure gold in this world, Brother Luke. But one of these days, I'm going to be walking. I'll be even running, Brother Luke, on a street that's pure as gold. I've never seen a mansion so big and just for me. Hey, I have played in many places, but i got a mansion waiting to be prepared for me by the best carpenter that ever walked the world. Praise God. Yeah, you saw it. Now, the thing is, Everything I, it, I, I, I cancel that, uh, young people. Every time I do it before I get married, I tell them, uh, just about anything is what we need to watch on finances. But if you want anything, usually you got to go in debt for it. If you want a new car, I don't got the money to go buy a new car. I got to go and get in debt and pay a bank for so long before that car's mine. If I want a new home, I got to be in debt for 30 or 40 years before that home is mine. But praise God, when I came and sent the Lord in my life, hey, I got a home that's already paid for. I don't got to make a payment. I don't got to worry about missing my bill. I don't got to worry about reposition. Praise God. I'm, woo! Yeah. In this life, i got to go through some things. Yeah, sure because I want to do right. I might get a little sick. Because I want to do right. I might lose some friends. Because I want to do right. I might even lose pain. Yeah. I'm thankful for I'm going to gain. I might lose a lot here, but I'm going to gain a whole lot more than I lose. Last thing I want to bring out, whatever happens, God can use it for the good. Yeah. Whatever happens, even though it seems like I'll be in a valley for a long time, mm -hmm. God's going to use me in that valley. I love using Sister Shirley as the illustration. Shirley had been faithful at church, used to be a Sunday school teacher every Sunday. They're the first ones here every morning. <laughs> I'm thankful, Brad. But surely, even though she faithful, even though she talked, even though she witnessed outside the church, sickness still yet came upon her. I tried. Yeah. Did she want some cancer? No. Did the family want her to have? No. Did she want to go to a doctor, go through treatments, go through surgeries? No. But while she was at the hospital, there's a man that was lost in the bed right next to him. Going through the very same thing. And that was amazing because he had the very same that small on the head, very same thing that she was going through. She witnessed him for several days. And he finally gave his life to the Lord. The battle that we go through, God can change it to the good. 
Job, when God took his children, when God took his flock, and when God took his money, the Bible said God blessed them too. Yes. Hold yes. Praise yes. God. I'm looking where he blessed them. That's the reason I came to church. That's the reason why I sat back. I listened to the preacher because I want the blessings of God. Yes. Has he blessed you? Yes. 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 You want more blessings? Yes. 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 I do. If I'm in a valley, even though I made the right decision, God's going to use it for the good. That's right. Every one of us in this church has, has loved one, has lost one. I pray that God would use you to be alive. You know, they want to make well. Pastor ought to be one at the hospital. Pastor ought to be one at the uh, business. Pastor ought to be the one preaching to them. Pastor ought to be the one doing this and that. You know something? You can reach people that I can't reach. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You can get more through your valleys that you go through can reach more than what valleys I went through. So don't just put all on the pastor or the deacons or the ministers or, or the laymen of the church. It's every one of us' job. That's right. The Bible says for all of us to go to all the world to preach the good news. Have you told someone this week about the Lord? Have you? Yeah. yeah, I pray you have. Yeah. Yeah. I pray that you just don't come to church on Sunday and just yeah, listen to his name, pray for a little while, then go back home and don't say another word. That's our job. That's our job. Absolutely. Hey, you got a regular job, and you don't do your job, you're going to get fired with it. I don't know. I don't want to fall back from doing the Lord's work. I give Him the praise. The bad things I go through, the hard times I go through, my Savior is going to bring it out to the good. Last time I had to go through this to set the scene to bring Esther in, in the castle, into the, into the royal. Last time I had to go through the hard times to save the millions of to the, uh, uh, Israelites. Last time I had to do all these things just to get past her where she needed to be. Mm -hmm. The valley that you're going through, I tell you, it, it, you've been amazed by the people that you can touch and get talked to. Them. The battle that you're going through. Some of us got sickness, some of us got trouble at work, some of us got. Every one of us got trouble somewhere. The thing is, are you putting you putting it in the Lord's hands? Are you choosing the right path? You've got to. You got to give it to the Lord. If you want to take care of you, do. No. God was never mentioned in the book of Esther. Throughout the whole book, God is never mentioned. But throughout the book, you can see God in. You might not be a preacher. You might not be a deacon or a teacher. But can God see you? Can people see God in your life? I pray that. I pray that people see the Lord in my life. And that God can use me to be a spokesperson of the He's for me. I pray that you pray the same thing. Everyone say it. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Sister, can you get a place off you? Are you about like that? You're, you're in a valley. You're going through a hard time. Well, will you come out here and stay for a while? You're going through something. Give it to God. Let God make something good out of it. Yes, indeed. Let God mold your life. Let God show you the direction, the way that you need to go. There's been a lot of times I felt like I was at a, a cliff, didn't know which way to go. But praise God, he, he showed me the direction. He showed me how. And most importantly, he showed me how to get salvation. That's through Jesus Christ. There's no other name that we can get saved other, other than Jesus. Oh, that be a walk. Want to come and pray? This altar is always open. No, you felt the Spirit here. You know the Spirit of God is here. 
Is he tugging at your heart's door? Is he deal with you? I believe there's some here that's under conviction right now. Might be going through a battle. Might be having a lot of questions. Wondering why about a lot of things. I can't answer them all the questions. But I can show you a man that can. I can introduce you to a man that can take care of all the problems of this world. Whether it be sickness, whether it be lost. Yeah, I'm not to I don't know. 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 I all you have to do is come up here, kneel down and ask. You know, people tell you there's another way to heaven. There's other help, but there is no other help. There is no other way to heaven than through the man Jesus Christ. But it says there is one God and one man, one mediator between man and God, and that is the man, Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's the only way that you ever make it to heaven. It ain't by the amount of money you put in the offering plate. It ain't by the amount of times you come to church and you let people see you. It's by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ into your life. Confessing the fact that he died on the cross just so you could have eternal life. You know, that's how it has to be to get saved. You have to get on a personal level with the Lord. You have to say, Lord, you died for me. You thank Lord that you died for everybody else. I believe once you get saved, you get down on that personal level and you say, Lord, I accept the fact that you died on that cross for me. You know, I believe in my heart that he'd done it if I was the only person that ever would have accepted because that's how much he loves you. The Bible says, love him because he first loved us. And there is no doubt in my mind. For here today, no loss. I can't make it. I can't drag you up here because it wouldn't be you have to accept it for yourself. You have to come and ask it for yourself. I'm going to tell you, if you leave here and you're lost, there is, we ain't guaranteed tomorrow. We ain't guaranteed the next prayer. I believe there's people today that told somebody last week, I'll come to church with you next week. Just next week. Let me wait. Let me do this. What I want to do this Sunday. But you know what? They probably died. They, I, I believe there's people that died before this Sunday. Amen. God. And you know, I believe that if they went last Sunday, God could have called them. But they turned him down. I'm begging you. You're here. And you're lost. Come up here. Come to this throne of grace. Is there a Christian, is there a Christian in this church that's going through a battle right now? Going through a trial. You just want to come and pray. <coughs> Give it to God. Put it in God's hands. Say, Lord, I put it in your hands. Make something good out of this. You want to come and pray? Come on, come and pray. Come and pray. Let us pray with you. Would there, would there be a warning? Come on. Lord's calling. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come and pray. No. I was made for the saved, of course, and made for the lost. You know, it's always a good place. You come to find strength and comfort when you make it. You know, I've been saved for over 10 years, and I still find time that I have to be around at that all. It's to help me God. Every day I have to ask the Lord for help. Because I'm not strong enough. No one is strong We won't judge you. Everybody's being there. Everybody. But Just come. That's what you're going to do. It's halfway. Put in God's hands. Would you at least do this? Would you at least do this? Would you at least slip up your hand and we'll close after this. Would there be one just slip up of their hand? Say, remember me. God bless that hand. God bless that hand. 
for that. God bless that hand. God bless them hands. For that baby mother. God bless that hand. For that baby mother. God bless that hand. Any of them. Slip under the hand. Oh, raise my hand. I can always use the hand. I ain't too ashamed to ask my Lord for the help that I need. I can't go it alone. I tell him all the time. Lord, I need your help. I can't go this long. His Bible says his strength is made perfect in our weakness. <laughs> there may be another before we get some sleep on that. God bless that hand. God bless that hand. You know, church, it's easy to slip up the hand. It's just that easy to come and pray. Amen. His altar is always open. Amen. You always get a hold of me when we'll I pray with you. Get a hold of one of these brothers or sisters, they'll pray with you. So put it in God's hands. Whatever it is. Just pray, Lord, make something good out of it. That's my prayer today. Any of them. Thank you for Amen.